Daha doğmadan bile yetişkinlikteki boyumuzu bilmek, hesaplamak mümkünmüş. Bu formül doğal koşullarda yetişkinlikteki boyumuzu veriyor. Babamızın boyu 1.81 değil mi? Evet. Annemizin boyu 1.66. Topluyoruz. 347 diyor değil mi? Sen kızsın. Ne yapıyoruz? 13 çıkarıyoruz. 13 çıkardık. 334 etti değil mi? Evet. Ne yapıyoruz son olarak? Bir de 2'ye bölüyoruz. Böl 2'ye. Ne çıktı? 1.67. Boyun kaç? 1.67. Ya. Oha. Wow. Play. What organ is this? Round one. It's a heart. Round two. It's a kidney. And round three. That's a spleen. ¿Crees que algún día habrá matrimonios entre robots y personas? Hmm. A veces los humanos se casan con personajes de anime. Así que creo que es posible que ellos también se casen con robots. Pero para mí personalmente, no estoy lista todavía. Anda. Necesito aprender más sobre mí misma. It is very seldom that we come across a degree of fuckery like we're watching in this video. The, the, the type of evil that you would imagine must have been locked away for millennia until someone's misdeeds unleashed it upon this plane. What the actual Looney Tunes fuck is going on here? We started with a steak and now we have some kind of gelatinous meat disc. My ass hurts. My ass hurts. My ass. Six facts that sound completely fake but are 100% true. I can pretty much guarantee one of these will be the coolest thing you've heard all day. Firstly, Picasso was alive at the same time as Eminem and Charles Darwin. Let that sink in for a second. What? Stonehenge was a tourist attraction for ancient Romans. The can opener wasn't invented until 48 years after the can. I mean, what? I imagine a lot of you enjoy eating oysters. I absolutely fucking do not. Uh, so might you after this fact. I'm so sorry. Oysters are always served to you alive. They only die when they go down your gullet. I mean, that's just... Uh. What? If you shuffle a deck of cards, it is statistically likely that you've shuffled them in an order that has never existed before and will never exist again. Essentially, you were the first person in history to shuffle them in that exact sequence. Oh, and while we're on the topic of just what the fuck, there are more ways to play a game of chess than there are atoms in the observable universe. And if you type this into the comments, you unlock a secret TikTok emoji. Okay, that's enough warning for the day. Everyone with me? Oh, dude, I don't even have a cold anymore. My nose is just stuffed. Oh, try putting this in your mouth. An ice cube? Why? Well, the cold on the roof of your mouth is just gonna reduce the inflammation of your nasal canal. Is it working? Mm-hmm. Yeah, thank you. Ugh, these period cramps are trying to kill me. Try drinking this. Is it just a glass of warm water? Oh, well, just the warm liquid should relax all the cramping muscles. You better hope this works. This is so dumb, I can't fall asleep. Try rubbing this pressure point right here. It's supposed to help with insomnia and get you to sleep. This is the best object in the world, look. Il permet en fait, à l'aide de deux roues qui tournent à haute vitesse, d'envoyer rapidement une corde et de la stabiliser de manière totalement contre-intuitive. C'est aussi en partie grâce à deux forces que cet objet fonctionne, la force de gravité d'une part qui veut attirer la corde vers le bas, et la force de traînée qui pousse la corde à aller vers le haut. Il y a donc cette inertie et cette cohésion entre les deux forces qui fait que la corde est totalement stabilisée. Ça s'appelle le zip string et c'est vraiment trop bizarre à observer, mais c'est génial à manipuler. Trop bien. Imagine being stuck in a nightmare for six days straight. That's what could happen to you if you ate one of these fairy tale like mushrooms called Amanita muscaria. After about 30 minutes of ingesting it, you would begin to feel very drowsy. And as soon as you close your eyes, you're thrown into this dreamlike state where you can't tell if you're awake or asleep. Normally these effects would last anywhere from 5 to 10 hours, but what's even scarier is that symptoms of paranoid psychosis may appear and last up to a week. These symptoms can include powerful auditory and visual hallucinations while you're awake and even while you're sleeping. So there is no way to escape the effects of this mushroom. And if you think these sound scary, wait until you see its deadly relative, the death cap. Oh, you haven't heard about the male anglerfish before, have you? Let's change that. This is a female anglerfish. This is also a female anglerfish. Once again, a female 
anglerfish. Well, then what do the males look like, you ask? This is the male anglerfish. Much, much smaller. Why, you might ask? In the deep sea, the dating scene is slim. So if a male does find a female within that abyss, he should probably stick with her forever. That's right. When a male does find a female, he fuses his body to hers, loses all of his internal organs, and is only around for whenever more anglerfish need to be made. Bummer. So my previous video, I said that if all Antarctic ice melted, the oceans would rise 187-ish feet or 57 meters. And I got this great question about it. Okay, so I live in Florida, so that's just devastated, gone, the whole state. Most of Louisiana as well. Netherlands is gone. Even most of London is gone. And this made me ask, wait, how many people in the world live under 187 feet, 57 meters? Thankfully, there's academics like this guy, who make charts like this, to interpret the data so I don't have to, and it shows that roughly 25% of the world's population live under this altitude, which equates to roughly 2 billion people today. 